given cash, but it's given style, right? Like. It is Monday today. Um, it's currently 6:25. I woke up a bit early. Um, I'm not gonna say 6:25 is early, but I I think I said it in last week's vlog. I'm trying to get myself back in a strict workout routine. Um, so that includes twitching my morning routine to make sure that I'm working out in the morning. Because I realized that if I'm not working out in the morning. I'm most likely I'm not gonna, going to work out like I am almost likely not gonna work out so I'm gonna try as much as possible to you know do my workouts in the mornings um, they make me feel pumped they make me feel productive they make me feel on point okay so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do it's 6 a.m. no my, my husband and daughter is sleeping so if you already know the vibe you already know the vibe okay but let me I'm about to take my medicine So I've been taking this stuff, I think I showed you also in two vlogs ago, but I've been taking the Mary Root Organic. Um, this is their Liquid Morning Multivitamin Plus Hair Growth. I've been taking it for about one week at this point. Um, so if you're on TikTok, you probably have seen it, okay? If you're a girl, you've seen it, <laughs> so you know. It's actually so nice. doing 30 ml um, every morning or every day and I don't have a 30 ml cap this is 20 ml so I have to do it twice 20 and 10 or sometimes 15 and 15 but I love this stuff um, again I don't have anything to say about it so far I haven't seen any difference with my hair I'm not gonna lie because it's just a week so we'll see i will give you guys an update but for right now i'm gonna go work out today is lower body day i am excited i am pumped i'm working out three days out of the week so i look forward to that because this is definitely a routine that is not going to wear me out you know so enough of the talking let's go and do some workout okay Show you what I'm wearing. 
I'm wearing this really cute dress that I got from Amazon. It looks a little big, but trust me, that's the style, okay? I feel like the lightning might be a little better here. Oops, no, it is not. So this is what the dress looks like. And then it has pockets as well. I don't know, it's like, it's very weird. It's also kind of big, but I got it in a size medium. This is how it looks like in the pictures on Amazon. So I am thinking that this is the style of the dress. I'm not gonna lie because I don't know why. But like, it's so cute. It's like so perfect for me. Like, I like it so much. <laughs> so that's what I'm wearing today. Um, I, again, I'm ready for work. So I'm gonna go sit down. It's currently 7.50. I start work at eight. So I'm gonna go sit down and just, you know, get some work done. But happy Monday, you guys. I hope you guys are having I hope you guys have a good week, okay? Um, a productive week, a week that makes you feel achieved at the end of the week, okay? You know that I wanna be good for you. You know that I wanna be good for you. I do, but sometimes someone was bad for me. Sometimes someone was bad, can't you see? I'm just being weak. I think you know that I care for you I think you know that I care for you I do But sometimes I can't be there for me Good morning Busha, how was your weekend? It was relaxing <laughs> It was pretty calm I did everything that I wanted to do So I guess, yeah It was calm <laughs> I, see, I see a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Same. Um, here's something that I have not looked at yet. I have not looked at You guys, every morning when I work from home, basically every morning, not even when I work from home, even when we work in office, we have like a morning huddle where we just like catch up, you know, talk about what the day looks like for us um, and check in with each other. Which I feel like is really good. It gives us time to sort of debrief in the morning and then we can actually get into proper work. With that being said, uh, talking about work and a bit of like, you know, work life, I am thinking of taking um, a course in cybersecurity or data analysis. I'm thinking system analysis, data analysis or ux design these three um but data analysis is definitely top of my list for sure but i'm thinking of taking that because i need to sharpen my skills i want to i don't need to i'm the type of person that likes continuous growth i believe in continuous learning i believe that that's how you grow as a person so of course i work here but i don't want to stay in that position i love my company I want to go up in my company so I don't think I want to move from my company at this point I just want to you know give myself more tools equip myself so that I can move up in the company <laughs> Sabia if you're watching this vlog you are the one texting me <laughs> anyway so I just know I don't know I wanted to I just wanted to say that because I would love to have a few more certificates, okay? I would love to have a few more things that is more cybersecurity tailored just so that I can, you know, have a few things in my bag. I would like that for myself. <laughs> but anyway, we finished that morning meeting. Usually when we finish that, I go and like, you know, do in front of her morning routine. It's still 8 a.m. So I'm gonna bring her downstairs, do her morning routine, and then I can actually come to work. So, yeah. It's finally time for lunch. I am so hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry, you guys. I am so freaking hungry. <laughs> Fasting is not for the week, okay? It's not. I cooked some jollof rice yesterday. I meal prepped 
every Sunday just so that we can have some food on you know Monday sometimes even Tuesdays just because I feel like it makes me very relaxed I don't like going into the week with pressure or a long list of things to do right now I'm trying to like build a routine for myself that really really um, doesn't wear me out you know so I feel like there is no escaping the tiredness when it comes to being a mom and being a wife and if you have a job on the side and if you have goals and ambitions that you're also chasing on the side you're always going to be tired that is just the reality because that's the life i have chosen for myself and i'm not even complaining but i know that i can also tweak my routine in a way that it you know doesn't make me feel tired or stressed every fucking time so that's what i'm trying to do okay <laughs> i don't even know how i started talking about that let me get my food <laughs> I am hungry. Oh, the hunger in me. The hunger in me right now. I got. I got. I ate some jello fries yesterday. Meal prep that. So I just heated some of that with some chicken wings. I also fried some plantain to go with that. <laughs> It's a whole meal, I'm not gonna lie. This is a big bowl. But that's one good thing about fasting because you can down this whole thing. <laughs> I also decided that I wanted to add some eggs because I'm just craving eggs. And I like my eggs in the morning. Like, give that shit to me, okay? And you guys, this is my lunch or first meal for the day. I have jello fries, chicken wings, plantain, and some fried eggs. So, yay. I'm going to go eat this. I am, <laughs> I'm catching up on Ghost on Stars. Um, they have a new episode out, so I'm going to be catching up on that. And I have, I think I have about 30 minutes left for my lunch break. So, I'm going to finish that and go back to work, okay? But, I'm so happy to eat. <laughs> Instacart delivery. I just have my days where I'm like, I don't think I wouldn't go out to go and do grocery shopping. <laughs> like, I be getting so lazy sometimes. <laughs> Today is one of the days I ordered some grocery from Instacart. So let's do a quick haul, see what we have. It's nothing crazy. I honestly just needed to get some school stuff, like daycare stuff. So that's why we have some diapers. This is going to school with her. Um, oh, I have some biscuits. <laughs> favorite, favorite of all time. She loves this. My daughter loves this so much. I got some chicken wings. I got some beef. I think this is a two pound beef. Yep. I got a two pound beef. I have some toilet roll. Some dish washing soap. I have some wipes for school as well. And then I have some diced tomatoes. That's everything. Again, this wasn't like crazy shopping. I just needed to re up on a few things. Also, I closed from work. I don't know if you guys saw, saw that. Like, yeah, <laughs> work is over. It's currently five. So this came at the right time. I made the order before closing from work just so that they could deliver it around the time that I was out of work. So I am out of work now. I don't have much to do because, again, I cooked yesterday however i'm craving some fried yams so i think i might do that fried yams um you know for dinner but we have some food in the fridge anyway so i don't have to cook like crazy so i'm just gonna you know tidy up the kitchen and call it a day you know maybe fry my yams and call it a day um and then i have to edit the vlog that goes up this week so 
I literally have to do that. So I'm sure you guys are not going to see me again for the rest of today. If I'm being completely honest, I don't have much to do on here. But tomorrow we go in office to work. So I will see you tomorrow. I know you guys love. I don't know what it is. But whenever I go in office, you guys like it. So tomorrow we're going to go in office and get some work done. And yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, it is 6.43. I am ready for work. But I'm about to pack my baby's daycare bag. That's how my morning goes. So I drop her off at daycare and then I go to work. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna make her breakfast that she has to take. And then I can go ahead and pack her back. For whatever reason, this song is playing in my head. It feels like summer. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard it before. Is it feeling by Childish Gambino? Apparently, I did not know that. I'm making her breakfast. Feels like summer. I love the song. I love the song. Okay. I feel like someone. So breakfast, and then I let me close that. I go ahead and pack her some of her biscuits that I mentioned that she likes. So that's gonna be her snacks. And then this is gonna be her lunch. She's gonna be having some jello fries with some chicken. I cut it into little chunks so that she can eat them. She loves jollof rice, by the way. She loves it. Oh, goodness. So this is her spread for the day. She's pretty picky with her food. So especially when she's going to daycare, I like to give her food that she's familiar with so that it doesn't stress the daycare, you know, um, instructors out so that, you know, she can have an easy day. And then when she comes home, she can try new food. I can give her different type of textures. She's very picky with what she likes so this is my lunch i'm taking some fried rice fried rice so yesterday i made the fried yam let me show you guys i made that fried yams yes and it tasted so good i made it with some suya peppered beef um added some green pepper to that so i am going with some fried rice some chicken and then the leftover from the beef that we had with the yams and then i have some shito on the side um but yeah let me just say that that air fry oven that i bought best investment ever you guys it's literally the best thing ever like this stuff right here love it two bits okay i have some chicken that I put in last night, like 11 p.m. literally. I prepped it really quickly, tossed it inside. In 30 minutes, it was ready. I love this stuff. I am super happy because this oven right here is cracked and I can't use it. But anyway, it's 6.56. I'm gonna go bring the baby downstairs, do her morning routine. Last night, I braided her hair. I will maybe try to put a photo so that you guys see what it looks like. It's really, really cute, but I braided her hair so i'm happy about that i usually i usually do that just so that you know the morning of daycare drop off i am not sh stressed out because i can be very easily flustered <laughs> when i have a lot of things on my to-do list and i have little to no control over time let me just say time is always the factor for me so waking up early is always key to putting me ahead of time it makes me get to work early i'm supposed to get to work at eight and she needs to be at daycare at 7.30. Her daycare opens at 7.30. They will not take her a second before 7.30. <laughs> so I get there exactly at 7.30. Sometimes I get there a little late, but that's fine. My work from here is like 15 minutes, so that's usually not bad. And then, <clears throat> you know, so 
I have been able to, I feel like I finally have my routine locked in. You know, waking up at 5.30ish definitely always puts me on time. If I wake up like 10 minutes after that or like 6, it usually always makes me late. So now I know how I want my routine to go that, you know, makes me get to work on time. So I love that. Prepping the night before is key. Let me just say that. Prepping the night before is key to having that nice smooth next day if you want to have a good day prep the nice the night before that's just one big tip prep the night before especially if you're a mom and if you have kids and you still have a life <laughs> like besides the kid which is a job you always want to have some sort of nighttime routine that sets you up for success in the morning okay okay so i'm gonna go do her morning routine i'm not gonna take you guys along with that because I don't want to be late. <laughs> so I will see you guys maybe when I get to work. I don't know. I will see you guys when I see you. Okay. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. We got some breakfast, you guys. I got some of that. And then I have my juice. For whatever reason, they also added a salad to it for us. So... I guess that's Ari's luck. Ari's food is so good. I'm just gonna, oh my goodness. Can you guys see that? Wow. It's too good. Hey guys, so I am back home. It's a little over five or past five. I'm gonna take my braids down. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I haven't had it for so long, but I already made an appointment to get my hair done on Friday. So she's gotta go. She's gotta go. <laughs> I know, I feel like I'm the same person that complains about the prices of doing your hair but in my defense I'm gonna get I'm gonna go get a sew-in and a sew-in is much less expensive than getting braids it's like fucking half the price you know so I miss sewing so I'm gonna go get a sew-in on Friday so I'm gonna take this out my battery is down I don't know how I know how I didn't charge it <laughs> um, but this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the night. I don't think that I have much to do besides editing for YouTube and just like taking my hair out. Also, I love having my hair out. You guys know that. Like, I love my hair. Like, <laughs> my hair is really and truly my girl. So, I am always happy to have my hair, my hair out for a few days. And then I can go ahead and put hair back in sewing. But yeah, I just thought I'd check in on you. And I also just wanted to say that I feel like there's so much cough and cold in the atmosphere. My husband is down with the same thing, like a cough and cold. And from a I had that two days ago, you guys remember when I made that little uh, home remedy for hair, which actually really helped alongside the cough mixture that I picked up from CVS. That was so good, okay? It, it melts all the, the flames. I know it's TMI, but like, if you're a mom, you know that when your kid has cold, it's it's the craziest thing. Like, they go through a lot when they have that. But now my husband has it too, because my husband has um, asthma, so he is always struggling when the weather changes like that. And I feel like I might be getting it too, because my throat feels very, like, itchy and, like... <laughs> but I'm usually not the type to get sick you guys know I barely get sick so I'm not even really worried about that but I'm thinking of making some soup tonight because you know soup is always good to 
um, make make you feel good if you're not feeling nice and if you're cold and all of that so I'm gonna make that for my man so that he can have that and just relax for the rest of the evening but you guys I'm gonna take out this hair I'll check back in with you guys later my my edges are hitting a little I don't know if it's the I don't know I feel like it's like you know when you braid your hair and the root for whatever reason the root feels like a little sensitive I don't know like when you move the braid around it's like it just hurts a little yikes especially this one anyway I'm gonna take this out and I will see you guys when I am done or I'll see you later okay I knew that three would come to good night, just to five you. I swore I lied to that bitch, I do it All in the more world was scared to do I'm not, as long as you joking, now it's to me I got it, I've been scheming, do it Hide your body, as long as you dreaming about me Ain't no problem, I don't got nobody Just me, you right now For the truth, I look better under you Oh my god, hey guys, I am back home My scalp, it's literally pulsating like it is pulsating right here <laughs> I can't even fake it like I, I can't even like oh my god <laughs> like I'm not even kidding I'm not even I'm not even exaggerating I can't even <coughs> sorry mama like right here the alcohol braid that she did right here is crazy I'm back home I'm back home you guys my hair it looks I absolutely love what she did. Oh god. My head. I don't think I can really show you guys much because the curls. <laughs> the curls, they fell. Um But that's kinda like what it looks like. This is my second professional suit in that I've ever gotten and I absolutely really like this one. This is really beautiful. I like the hair quality and everything it's just like I love I love it so much the hair quality and everything is just so gorgeous and she packed I used four bundles of hair so that's why it looks big <laughs> she packed it up and she did a good job she did a really good job because she didn't use any nets or cap on my base it's just my hair as cornrows and that's the base so she packed it up really really nicely over here in the center i could tell because she just kept going back and forth right here and then it's pretty light in the back so she did a good job this is my second time um that i've been to her she's the lady that cut my hair short you guys remember when i wanted to cut my hair short the salon that i went to she did that for me um and then she also sort of put some layers in my hair so it's it's naturally wavy so i just have to like take my time and like curl it up really nicely but not tonight because i just don't have it in me to do that you know but like this is the finished look i guess um this is gonna be like the everyday look because oh i love it so i'm gonna have it around for a little she did it really well she did it way better than i would if i had done this by myself so i'm happy that i spent the money that i did to do this hair because money well spent definitely how i feel but besides that i have crazy pain right here it had so much the cornrow um the cornrows are still very fresh and everything is still fresh so and I feel like it's the hair itself, it's meant to be natural and 1B, but I feel like it's very black. Is it just me? Like, it looks really dark. But I'm not mad at it. Like, you know, I like the volume and everything. But anyway, guys, I am gonna go shower. I'm in the bathroom, so I'm just gonna shower. It's almost 9 p.m. I am so tired. I don't think I'm tired, I just think it's my head that is making me feel like I'm tired. But I will see you guys tomorrow. I wanted to unbox some things with you. But I'm so tired. And like my headache. I can't do it right now. 
So I'm just gonna shower, go to bed. That's my neighbor. My neighbor is so loud. Not that my neighbor downstairs. My next house neighbor. Cause just so you know the difference. My neighbor downstairs, she's pretty calm, sweet, sweet lady. But my neighbors on the other side, God. Mm. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna shower, go to bed. It's Friday night, so I will just shower, go to bed, and then I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> I am back in this corner. I like this corner, that's why I sort of like put it together. I feel like it's the perfect reading corner, that's what I call it. I should come and put some books here. <laughs> you guys are catching me real time I am in the process of chatting with a brand that um, sent me email to want to work with me I think from Instagram I think I don't know where they saw me my content I'm sure it's from Instagram and so they're asking they let me just let me just let you guys in on the tea okay they just want to have to ask for my rate and something i was going to sell myself short i was going to undersell myself and something said don't do that shoot it high and then even when i wrote down the prices you know i'm like oh i don't know how i feel about this because this is like the first time i'm ever 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 saying that i want to charge like that type of amount and it's you know it's like it's a good amount so i send it to them and then they're like, your rate suits our budget. I send it to them and then I also leave room because I'm like, my daughter is crying. She's just a big baby. She's just such a big baby. <laughs> but like, I send it to them. <laughs> she wants to come here and I said no. <laughs> and that's why she's crying. <laughs> but let me continue with my story. So I send it to them and then I leave room. I'm like, I'm not so sure. I'm like, you know, I'm open for negotiations, da 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 da. So if you're if you wanted to like what is your budget? That's the delivery guy. Um so I send it to them and then I'm like, you know, it, um, this is usually what my rates are. But like, what is your budget? Because I want to build a long lasting relationship with you guys. So tell me. <gasps> they don't want you to hear the story, okay? It's not my fault. I tried. I'm like, just let me know, you know, like what your budget is because I'm open to working around it. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> This is my reaction, real time reaction. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I am so grateful for this opportunity. I am so grateful. Like, what? <laughs> Oh, this is just the beginning. That's all my something is telling me. This is just the beginning. Oh my god. This is I am so grateful. Oh, such a start to this whole Oh my goodness. So that was such a it was such an interesting start to me coming to just on vlog if I mean unbox a few things on vlog. What the hell is that? I was gonna unbox a few things. Now my battery is low. Can you imagine? I have to go downstairs again. I'm gonna just go through it. If it goes off, I will go and get the battery. But I was just saying that I was talking to a brand and you know, the negotiations, negotiation, negotiations, <laughs> I can't even say the word, but the negotiations, it definitely went in my favor and I am so grateful. So it just caught me. The message literally came when I was on camera. So. Um, the, it caught me by surprise but I was also such I was like really overwhelmed with gratitude because just a few days ago I was saying how like I do put in the work I you know and I'm looking forward that the I'm looking forward to having a good future I'm looking forward to just leaving the rest with God basically and hoping that something comes up you know because 
you know you always you always like a good upgrade like as human beings we always want a little extra you know so plus also this is this even is not about my life you know I have a job obviously my husband has a job we pay bills we're okay in that regard but as a content creator sometimes it does give you the validation that you're looking for if a brand is willing to pay you a certain amount of money for your content you know because then you know that your work is actually good then you know that the amount of time that you're actually putting into your content it makes sense because people are actually seeing it too so that's 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 the part for me where I'm like I'm really grateful because I do put in a lot of work in my content no matter how inconsistent I, it may seem like I am when I do like edit and like record and do stuff I put all my strength in it and so that's why when I'm vlogging I let myself just go and be free and sometimes I'm just like very relaxed on here because all of my content are so well thought out like such planned to a T and sometimes it can be very stressful because it like everything is by the book so on my vlogs I just like to go with the flow and just relax and be free <coughs> my voice is husky <laughs> But yeah, you guys, that, that was just, you know, I'm grateful for that. But that's, let's just push that to the side. If um, the brand happens to send their product and everything, I will obviously show, show, show it to you guys so you guys will know. Um, but I'm happy that you guys caught me in that mood and like emotion and everything. It was such an interesting thing. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like I've never said stuff like that here. So what? whatever. Anyway, so yesterday my head was literally bashing because I had gone to get this fresh install done <laughs> and you know my scalp was literally pulsating okay I was going through it so I had to go to bed yesterday was um, it was a long day but this is what the hair looks like you guys again it's very black plus I'm wearing a black top so I feel like it might not be showing it awful well but I love this install let me just tell you that and the way she I don't want my daughter to hear that I'm here good if you have a child you know what I'm talking about <laughs> but the way she did this install she did it to cover my edges like she did it so well like it's so well thought out so well laid and like when I tuck it behind my ears, it's still like very, very cool. And I'm so happy about that. Like she did it so well. So this is what it looks like. I woke up this morning and then I created some content for YouTube. I have, <laughs> you guys, my camera went off when I was talking. I apologize. So I had to go and grab my second battery. <clears throat> so this is what the hair looks like. It does look really good. The hair quality though, I'm happy that I like the hair quality because I bought it from a beauty supply in Worcester and I wasn't so sure, but the price was so expensive. It wasn't like so expensive, but like it was way expensive than when I was gonna, what I was going to get on Amazon. So I'm like, ah, should I get it? But then I had to get it because my appointment was the next day and I wasn't so sure if Amazon was going to deliver before my appointment. So I got the hair. Did the hair done and now uh, I, I am I am just a baby girl like I'm a baby girl <laughs> I love it it's gorgeous I just love I love what it looks like it's luscious she put four bundles I think I already said that yesterday she used four bundles she filled it out really really nicely like I have little to no leave out like the hair that I have here is like just right here it's like small hair but it has covered everything perfectly nice I don't know how she did it but that should show you that she's a hairdresser and I am not <laughs> that's one thing I kept saying yesterday I'm like what did she do differently from what I always do because my sewings they never look like this and this will show you that I don't know how to do hair like that <laughs> But anyway, it's good. It's good because that's how you see that it's always good to go to a professional sometimes because it's not everything DIY. Sometimes go to the salon, okay? And I'm saying this to myself, not even to everybody, to me. 
But with that being said, I have a few things that I want to unbox. So let's do that. I have PR and then I have some really cute shoes. I have some really cute shoes that I got from Amazon. And like I said, I collect shoes. It's what I do for a living. It's like my part-time job. I don't get paid for it, but I do it on, on like my days off. <laughs> I love collecting shoes, okay? I had these really cute slingback pumps. Oh my god. Ugh. I could literally throw up looking at that, but not in a bad way, in a good way. Like, I don't know if it makes sense. Sometimes if something is so cute, it makes me want to throw up. I don't know. It's weird, but like, look at this. This is a very simple slingback black. The, 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 what is the name of the... I think this is called what? I don't know. The shiny color body. <laughs> like, I love this so much. I love the heel. I love how slim this is. And I love how just versatile this shoe is going to be in my closet. Because I feel like I can use this for dinner. I can use this for a good business meeting. Like, this is just so my style. Oh my goodness. Like, I love it so much. And then I have it in a size 7. So it's just a simple, 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 simple. It doesn't have any straps. My thighs were itchy. <laughs> it doesn't have any straps. It's just like a, you know, pullback type of situation. So, ouch. Why would you want to? <laughs> anyway, I like it. I like it so much. That's what it looks like. So, yeah. And it's Amazon, always, always Amazon. Amazon has your girl covered every day, every season, every time of the year. Like, what? Love it. I will leave a link for you guys. Ouch, what's that? I'll leave a link for you guys in the description, okay, as always. The next item I have, we're gonna do a single, single item try on haul. Because like I would like for you guys to look at the color of this outfit you guys like this bent orange I feel like it will look so good on me <sighs> let me try it on so that you guys can see what it looks like in person okay I'm so full my stomach is big I don't know oh look at the dress <laughs> you already see what that looks like let me go ahead and put it on this is what she looks like. Water. Ooh, like I absolutely love the ruching here. Like, I feel like it's such a perfect. <coughs> Sorry, babe. It is such a perfect dress. Like, ooh, who's this girl? Ooh. And you can close the button all the way down. It goes all the way down to here. So. I have just decided that I wanted to, you know, like show a little skin. <laughs> I feel like this is so perfect. You can pair it with a lot of things, okay? Um, maybe do cash. Oh, I'm sorry. Take those shoes out of the way. <laughs> can you see the shoes? Okay, you can. Good. Let's see. You can do a very simple, casual. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's giving cash, but it's giving style, right? Like, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. And it's not see through. That's one thing I like about it. The material is definitely very thick. So I like. Oh, this is. It is so my style, like, it is so my style, like, it's giving grown and flatty and responsible and ooh, 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 get it girls, so that's what I'm talking about, that's, that's what the dress looks like, you can do a lot with this, okay, you can do a lot, you can do a lot, when I say a lot, I mean a lot, let me show you, <laughs> let me show you. If you wanted to like look really simple dinner with hubby but you still want to show people that a girl knows how to throw it on because see me 
I'm gonna pull this up to dinner. I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't care. They're too fancy for dinner. Call me tomorrow. <laughs> like, these are too fancy for dinner. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm finna wear this to dinner because I want to. Okay, that's just who I am. <laughs> so, I'm gonna pair this with that, and it'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> like, you cannot tell me no. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I am definitely like my style is my style I define my style so yeah but that's what the dress looks like very you can decide to do a lot with this dress you can take it to errands you can take it to dinner take it to church like <laughs> take me to the king girl <laughs> I hate myself, but let me go ahead and take it off because then I have to style this for my Instagram girl. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. You're missing out. Okay, go ahead and do it right now. Pick up your phone. Follow me on Instagram right now. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so we have a package. Oh. Stay away from my house. <laughs> I'm just kidding but stay away from my house <laughs> anyway i have a package this is a pr package from the brand kate mcleod mcleod kate mcleod kate mcleod <laughs> this is a luxury skincare brand what they happen to do is they do luxury skincare bars like soap bars and oil bars and stuff like that it's just, just I came across them they wanted to send me products and I'm like oh how did you know a girl literally lives for luxury skincare like every form of skincare for me is luxury <laughs> let me just say that because like just that whole idea of slowly living um, taking care of yourself being conscious of what you're putting in the body on the body all of that that is a form of luxury for me you know you need to be able to be in at a certain peace of mind but it's like your your mind has to be peaceful enough to get there if you you get what i'm saying okay you can't have so much going on with you and want to do skincare <laughs> like <laughs> if you get what i'm saying like if you have a lot of shit going on skincare is the last thing you're thinking about so skincare is luxury okay it is but Kate McLeod, they sent out some products to me. They wanted me to try out some of their products. In here we have, oh, this is such beautiful branding and packaging. And like, I am just really, really here for that. I had that turn around, <laughs> but this is the name of the brand. If you probably live in the New York area, you might have seen their store or try their products really nice stuff i can't wait to see so so i have here their sleep stone this is their body moisturizer with lavender and chamomile i will show you guys what it looks like it's a literal stone moisturizer like it's it's, it's just so gorgeous it is so gorgeous and then i also have here their daily stone it's also their body moisturizing stone with rose frankincense and neroli so i'm excited to see what this is going to be like in my everyday routine and then here i have the everyday magic dry brush so this is a regular degola dry brush i kind of want to take a photo that's why i'm not taking it out of the package i apologize okay i apologize but i will take a photo really quickly and then i can take it out so. The first item that we have again is the dry brush that is what it looks like and i like the aesthetic of this uh, brand let me just say that i like the wooden aesthetic it definitely matches with my home and my vibes you guys can see i think i um you can probably tell that i have a lot of like wooden textures like this a lot of my containers like all those stuff are wooden so I'm all for it but yeah gonna be doing some skincare on Sunday I guess and then 
the sleep stone so this is their solid body moisturizer that melts on contact and intensely nourish, no, I, nourishes and moisturize always confuses me <laughs> an intensely nourishes dry cracked or irritated skin use daily to bring magic back into your skincare and yeah this is exciting this is this is perfect it's handmade it's a vegan it's um cruelty free so everything nice i have to take this thing off it comes with a little wooden container that you're able to use to carry it and then you can just go ahead and open it like that oh this is so cute uh, you have your little instruction sheet here as to what you need to do oh my god this is so perfect this is so perfect and then this is the soap i keep saying soap because i'm so used to being i'm so used to seeing only like soaps in this nature but this is a moisturizer okay you guys it's not a soap let me just say that and it's wrapped really really nicely that's what it looks like oh my goodness isn't this just so gorgeous and so perfect you just need to like warm it up i'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it but that's all you need to do just keep warming it up oh my god see that see that glow at the back of my hand yeah so it gives you instant moisture and i like this especially for on the go you know when you're traveling throw this in your bag oh it smells amazing too oh my goodness oh, it actually has some perfume to it oh my god what oh this is so nice is this the sleep stone let me see this is the sleep stone i figured it has so much eucalyptus and like it's giving take me to bed <laughs> oh this is perfect i'm gonna keep this by my bedside for sure oh this is so perfect <laughs> it's so perfect let me show you the daily stone i need to try it out to you know tell the difference in scents the bamboo canister you never have to throw that away because you just have to refill this canister you can just buy the moisturizer and then put that in that's what that looks like too pretty much the same thing i'm gonna wrap that in a different area so you just need to sort of like warm it up for a few seconds and yep it doesn't even take five seconds like literally three seconds because if you do it more than that you're gonna have a lot of moisture in that area okay this one is much softer in scent which is not bad i like this also because layering a perfume over this would be so perfect right it's oil based it gives you intense moisture because again it has oil like see like see that glow oh this is so perfect and the daytime one definitely smells very fresh very like cocoa not cocoa like like very soft type of oil fragrance it's like very nice for daytime and this would be really good to throw a perfume over it like it will be so perfect to just you know let that pass and that's going to stay all day because it's oil based oh such a great combination such a perfect combination oh my god it's literally the perfect combination with my perfume and just layering that on my skin oh my goodness this is such a great addition to my routine like see if you're the type of girl that uses oil after you moisturize which is something that i always do i would use my body butter and then i would use my oil and then i would use my perfume that's kind of like how my skincare routine would go after i get out of the shower and so if you're the type of person that does that you would love this because this is the oil and moisturizer put together in a bar for you and all you need to do is rub it around wrap it around for a few seconds and you have that deposit all over and then put your perfume over it and bam oh my god 
this is so cool right and then you can also throw it in your bag take it to work if you feel like you're looking dry especially in the winter ah, this is literally so perfect what this is so perfect because especially in the winter when everywhere is so dry and you have to go into the office or you have to go to town this is just perfect because you have this in your bag if you if everywhere feels dry you can just toss it out it's a little classy or whatever so you open it and then you're like boop, 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 boop. <laughs> yeah girl <laughs> then put back in the bag okay girl <laughs> this is this is this is a vibe okay this right here this right here it is a vibe it's an absolute vibe and i think i'm gonna leave it right there actually now that i think about it i'm gonna leave it sitting right here I take the brush obviously to the bathroom <laughs> but this is such a good brand from like their packaging and what came into mind for them to even decide to do a brand like this like shout out to you miss Kate you did that because this is really beautiful I will leave a link to their website in the description box I feel like this is such a perfect gift um, it, it will be such a well thought out gift because anyone that you give to this to they should be as excited as I am <laughs> like who would not like that okay like who would not like this as a part of their routine even if they are a man I think that it will still be perfect okay so um, again I will leave a link to their website in the description box for you guys but I'm not gonna lie I will end this week's vlog right here I don't know what this vlog has been up to but like whatever you've had in here that's what it is um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's vlog it is only Saturday today um, but again I figure tomorrow you guys know how my day is gonna go my Sundays are always the same creating content meal prepping that's it literally every single time so um, I just want to have sort of like a relaxed Sunday so I can be able to like maybe edit on time. I also really don't like how late my vlogs are and I want to apologize for that. I definitely see, I'm aware, okay, so I'm working on a way to, you know, be able to put them out earlier than they come out now because I don't like the tiring. Do better, Kusia. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. I feel like it's been fun. Comment below if you have any questions. Follow me on Instagram, all of that nice stuff. And I love you as always. And let me just say, I promise, I promise, promise, promise on my last Anna that I'm going to be sending out the giveaway products as soon as I can, like literally as soon as I can. I just have a lot on my plate, but I will send it out. I still have it in mind. Thank you guys so much for coming here. I love you. I'll see you next week's vlog. Bye. <laughs> When they say she get it from her mama Mama say you fuck her right Your body booty is pumping like Tell me in the home But come tell me is you down Cause I'm trying to go good tonight I'm holding who she said to right I just wanna live in a fantasy I think we deserve